Today we have not one, but two different Ipsy subscription boxes to unbox today. And as you can tell, they look a little bit different. And that is actually for a reason that I will go into. And then also we'll be doing a painting and a makeup look with all of the makeup they decide to give us in these two packages. So let's turn the camera around and get started. So here are my two Ipsy boxes and this is for the month of July and this is for the month of August. The month of August they made quite a few changes to their design and it is because of these changes that I think I'm going to keep getting the Ipsy bags because I wasn't really fond of Ipsy before and we'll go into it and I'll talk a little bit more about it. But with this design change I think it might be great but I haven't opened this yet so we'll see if I actually really do like it but for now let's open up the July one. And if you do not know about Ipsy, you have the choice between a lower tier, which is about $12, this one, which is about 25, and one that I believe is about 35, a more expensive option. So I just have the middle of the tier, which is a mixture of sample size and full size products. And I believe it's five products in that. And what's interesting about Ipsy is you're able to choose one product at the beginning of the month and hopefully kind of get something that you really want in this mystery box. So here I will open it up and they have this yellow foam for the month of July, which is very on brand for summer. And then in here, we just have this little insert card that says, take a break. And this doesn't actually tell you about the products inside and how much they cost, but they have some tips on Ipsy. So I will put that to the side here. So I did want to say that I have opened this box already. Since I knew I wasn't doing a video in July, I couldn't resist looking at what they gave me. So I did open the box, but We'll still look at it together just for the fun of it. And this first product that I'm picking out is the one that I chose on my own. This is from Color Boss, and this is a gold eyeshadow in the color Eyes on the Prize. So I have mentioned before, but when I'm getting these subscription makeup boxes, I am looking for more makeup and less beauty skincare stuff. So I did want to choose one myself because I wanted to make sure that I did get some makeup in this just so we could also have some content for this video. So it is just this very gold metallic color and I think it looks stunning. I'm a fan of gold and I think it's because of my skin tone. Gold accents usually look pretty well so I wanted to go ahead and get that one. The next thing we have in here is this from Pearlice. It is a matcha green tea antioxidant priming moisturizer and what I've learned about Ipsy is they love the brand Pearlice. I think so far in every single Ipsy subscription I've gotten I have gotten something from the brand Pearlice which is interesting. Um, they probably just have a good deal with them I don't think that Pearlice is particularly special, particularly not special. It's an interesting brand, but matcha green tea moisturizer doesn't sound bad. It is a lightweight, oil-free water cream and it primes the skin for makeup. And it looks like it might be good for about all skin types. Next, we have this from Tarte C. It is called Surfer Curl Volumizing Mascara. And this is in the color black. And I will say I'm not the best at knowing how good a mascara is. Unfortunately, all mascaras kind of seem to do the same thing. And maybe it's because I'm not much of a makeup enthusiast. And if I did know more about makeup, I would be able to kind of comment on how well it's working. But I do like the packaging of this. This is the wand, which to me looks like a pretty standard wand. But again, I am not saying that I know much about makeup or the wands, but I do kind of like the bristles. I like how close together they are. I think it'll probably do a good job at separating the lashes. And then we have this, Nature's Cartel, and this is a shimmer lip gloss. The packaging is really cute. It's really fun purple color with this cheetah print on the side. So here is the tube outside of the packaging and wow, it is so sparkly. It also looks pretty silver. So I wonder if it comes across, it kind of looks like, um, it looks a little bit like it could be iridescent. Oh my goodness. I don't know if the sun is making it easier for you guys to see or worse, but it looks a little bit iridescent and it looks like it has some green and purple glitters in there. So here it is on the skin and I will say it is very sticky. It has a definitely sticky formula. I do like the color. It's really shiny. It's very bright. It kind of reminds me if you're eating like a donut or something like the after effects, like my lips are going to look like I had fried chicken with some glitters on it. <laughs> Probably, but that is pretty nice. I do think it's kind of cute. So we'll definitely have to try that on and see how we like it. And let us look at the last thing of this first box and it is the Midflower Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizing Mask. And it looks like they just gave us three face masks. And honestly, I'm not complaining because I love 
to pamper myself. Of course, it's not necessarily the most exciting thing because this is literally just three trials, whereas these products, you have multiple, multiple trials. But it is still nice to have something now every once in a while that you can just kind of test out and enjoy and feel really relaxed with it on your skin. And the last thing we have in this box, box, stop being so heavy, is the makeup bag for this month of July. And this says Wanderlust on it. And it has this cute little airplane zipper detail, which I think is really cute. And it's a very nice purple color. Very nice. I've had these scissors for so many years and they're no longer sharp. And also I should definitely upgrade my scissors because, oh my God. so sad guys please pay some respects a moment of silence for this of which i legitimately cut through with the worst pair of kids scissors i've ever seen in my life this is indeed a tragedy <laughs> so if we can just ignore the fact that i just mauled this because of my stupidity and wanting to cut it on camera this is the Ipsy bag for the month of August, and it is very, very different. So let me explain that before we go any further. So now Ipsy offers its customers the ability to select three items out of the five items that'll be in the bag. And that you can do in the beginning of the month It's while supplies last, and it allows you to choose between one thing and another thing for three different products. The other two are products that Ipsy chooses for you that they believe that you must have in your bag. And I thought that was really interesting because so far with Ipsy, it's really a random assortment of things. You get to choose one and it is nice because it is a surprise every time you get it, but it kind of sucks because Ipsy kind of gives not the best things or at least when i compare it to boxycharm i think the boxycharm boxes come with such a better selection of things and that's just my opinion if you really like the ipsy selection that is on you that's just what i think i think it's a little bit lesser than the boxycharm selection so with this with ipsy allowing people to choose three products and not just one it gives you a lot more range to get things that you would like or at least things that you would like to try so that's enough about the explanation and i believe these two products are already two things of the three that i chose but i want to open up this first to see if they gave us an insert with the prices because the last one didn't do that and they also hardly ever do that so for August 2020, it is the future is yours. Not really an insert with the prices, but it's okay. So this is from Complex Culture, and this is a plush powder brush. So this is one of the three things that I chose, and I really was glad that I got the option to choose this. And this already, it is so heavy. This feels like high quality. This really feels good. And this is the brush, and oh my goodness, it is really soft. It's really nice. Next. We have this that I chose. And so far with the Ipsy subscriptions, we haven't gotten anything like this. We have gotten eyeshadows. We've gotten a three set of eyeshadows. We've gotten one tub of eyeshadow, but we haven't got an eyeshadow palette with multiple colors. And I think this was the biggest reason why I was thinking to stop my Ipsy subscription because I felt like with the BoxyCharm, we had more chances of getting a full size makeup palette or a full size eyeshadow palette. And so far we hadn't gotten that with Ipsy, but this, they let me choose. And of course I was gonna choose a whole eyeshadow palette. And this is called Venice Fling. It is Bailey, Sarian, and Estate. And prepare yourself for the reveal, my friends. Here are the colors. So let me turn that to the side for you. And I looked at this on the website and I thought that it was definitely a good color selection. We have some gold, we have purple shades. Oh my goodness, let me just swatch these out for you guys. Okay, so I have all of the colors swatched out on my arm. And as you can see, some of them didn't swatch too well on my skin tone. I'll also say that some of them didn't swatch well in general. The shimmery shades definitely swatch really well. They're very vibrant. You can definitely tell which ones are their shimmer shades. And the ones that are matte, weren't as strong or as bright. This one I definitely had to dip in a few times to kind of get some color payoff. I don't know how that'll work on the eyes, but I just wanted to note that. And the colors are Soul, Tan Lines, Roller Skate, Bonfire, Ocean Avenue, Puppy Love, Rose Tattoo, Toasty, and Venice Fling. So that's all of the colors here on my arm. And I tell you what, right now, just looking at these, my favorite is this color right here, 
the roller skates color. It is such a fun purple. It is just so interesting. It's not something I have in any of my eyeshadow palettes, so I really like that. We already have another gold eyeshadow, so it's kind of funny to get another one. Okay, and the next product we have is not one that I chose. It's one that Ipsy chose for us, and it's from the brand Murad. Murad? Not sure how to pronounce that. It is the Hydration Perfecting Day Cream Broad Spectrum SPF 30 PA++++. Nourishes, protects, and restores suppleness. I'm not sure what PA++ means, but I do like a product with SPF. I think that is really nice because we have to be careful because as our ozone dies out, we are ready for that sunburn and that skin cancer, and it is just a sad life. It smells like a sunscreen too, actually. Okay, so I read a little bit more. Now I know a little bit more. This is definitely a sunblock. I was kind of confused because it definitely gave me a, a feeling of sunblock. So I wanted to read ahead and make sure that I wasn't incorrect. And it is, it's definitely an SPF cream. It smells like sunblock. It feels like sunblock. It applies like sunblock. So it's supposed to be more hydrating, I guess, than your typical sunblocks. It kind of feels greasy. I mean, even if you can see it kind of like on my hands where I applied it, like it's very shiny, literally just like a sunblock. <laughs> I can't say if it's any more special than normal sunblocks or if it's any more hydrating than normal sunblocks, but I can say that that is sunblock. Okay, so the next thing that I am going to pull out, which is the last thing that I was able to choose specifically, and I do want to mention again that when we were choosing these things that we had between one or two other products that we could choose between, so not necessarily something that I would prefer, but something that I was definitely preferring more than the other options, if I can say. And it is this Glaze Number no. 1 Lip Oil for soft, plump, and supple lips. A naturally colored and flavored lip oil that envelops lips in plumping hydration. Juicy candy apple flavor sweetened with stevia. Made with our unique combo of red root oil, pomegranate, apple, and plant-based plumping complex. If I am reading this correctly, and if I'm right by my assumption, this should be edible because it just seems like a lip oil, but the way it talks about it with Clean Beauty and the ingredients, I think this is edible. Oh my gosh, I can't pull it out. <laughs> oh my God. I wasn't expecting the spoolie to be this thick. <laughs> I was like, why can't I pull this out? What am I doing? And it's just that huge, my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna swatch this on the back of my hand. Oh my goodness. It, when they say it smells like candy apple, that smells like candy straight up apple. It's definitely one of those green apple sour candy flavors. Like that's exactly the smell. Oh, I kind of, I kind of like that, but it's kind of, it's really sticky. I know like lip glosses are sticky, but this oil is like really, really dense. Ugh. Ugh. Ew. So I just tasted it. <laughs> And I feel like I shouldn't have done that because I really just licked my hand. My hands are clean, by the way. And <laughs> that was so gross. <laughs> okay, I, I'm trying to find the words. It does kind of taste like candy apple, but when it said it was sweetened with stevia, I guess I should have thought a little bit longer. I hate the taste of fake sugar. I hate like diet drinks. I, I literally cannot with diet flavored anything and it's because of the way the sugar tastes in diet flavored things and that straight up just tastes like diet candy and also it's oily so it's not as fun as eating actual candy okay and now on to the last product we have and again this is one that ipsy chose for us this is from the brand beauty for real very minimalistic in its packaging but i do respect i do appreciate when it comes in packaging because when they just throw these things into our cases, usually mistakes happen. These are eyeshadow sticks, 24 seven eyeshadow. And it is in these two very similar color. One's a little bit lighter, one's a bit darker. And I, I gotta say when Ipsy said that this was something that they knew we had to try, I was very skeptical because it's definitely not something that I would pick out. So it's, it's, a, it's an eye crayon pretty much. And it's rolls out like an eye crayon. It looks like an eye crayon. <laughs> doesn't come with a, a sharpener though. And where I just licked the back of my hand, I will swatch these. So we have this one. It's kind of like easy to rub it in. Although I still will say eye crayons aren't my fave to apply. Cause I don't know that I would ever just like stick this onto my eyelid and apply it. I feel like that'd be a little bit harsh. So I would have to find some way to apply it anyways. So here's the darker shade. And there is a subtle difference. This one does have a bit more golden undertones while this one is definitely a little bit more silvery. And I don't know if me moving my hand at all 
allows you to see the difference. Okay, so these are all the products that I got in the July and then also the August Ipsy subscription boxes. I feel like even just laying them out, if we kind of put a line between, this side looks a lot more interesting than this side, which is why I do really like that Ipsy is now allowing people to choose three products. Because again, the products I chose were like this one, this one, and this one, which is like super great selection, I feel. And then in this one, all I was able to choose was this one. These other ones, I can't say that I won't like them, but it's definitely not something that I probably would have chosen if given the chance. So with all of these, I will find some inspiration with a few to see what kind of painting I can do. And then I will come back so that we can do a makeup look. So for this painting, I was inspired by the packaging of the Venice Fling eyeshadow palette, also the packaging of the Pearlise moisturizer. And then I was inspired possibly by the Nature's Cartel lip gloss or the IL Maquillage gold eyeshadow. I wasn't sure which shimmer color I wanted to go with, but I wanted to use either one of those two, whether silver or gold. And as you can see, I drafted out three different pictures and pretty much it's the same character, but just in different perspectives. I wasn't sure which one I wanted to do, but with the makeup mask that we got, that person was turned with their profile view. So I knew that was the one that I was going to ultimately go with. So for this painting, I definitely went with a style that I don't typically go for in terms of the character. She's definitely, not necessarily my style. I don't know how else to explain that. I definitely made her eyes super huge as well. I wasn't really sure about this one going through it. I did like the plants. I did like the idea, but I still kind of think that I didn't necessarily get across what I wanted to get across. And I also don't think that I painted it as nicely as I could. I definitely drew from my inspirations the way I wanted to and was able to get those colors in there, the greens, the pinks, and the warm tones in the background but for some reason, I don't know if it registered as well as I would like it to have, but I did enjoy the painting process nonetheless. I did go with a gold shimmer shade for the eyes instead of the silver, and I even gave her an apple earring to kind of go with that apple lip oil that we had and made that a little bit shimmery too, even though you can't really see with the painting process. And overall, I, I don't think I hate it. I think it's definitely different, but it's, it's not bad. Okay, so I don't know if any of you can tell, but it is actually the next day and I decided to start off by trying the face mask and I was supposed to leave this on for like 20 to 30 minutes, but uh, that felt nice. It was closer probably to like 15 minutes, if that. Okay, so the rest of that essence is rubbed into my skin and the next thing I want to use is the Pearlise Matcha Green Tea Moisturizer, priming, priming moisturizer, because I think that'll be good to use as a primer. Again, it smells wonderful. Yeah, that feels nice. That might be a new fan favorite. Okay, so our foundation is on, so I'm going to go in with our plush powder brush, and this is just the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, and set that up. I've never used a brush like this for this, so we'll see. Also, I am combination skin so my t-zone gets pretty oily okay so we have three different things for our eyes actually and that is this palette right here venice fling palette we have these sticks that we were given the crayon beauty for real sticks and then we also have the il maquillage I don't even know if I said that before. And in this gold shimmery color, obviously I'm gonna go for the palette. I don't know if I'm going to incorporate either of the other two. It's definitely interesting to use two makeup subscription boxes at once. Kind of feel like I have too many choices for what I wanna do. But we'll do this and I don't know. What, what colors do you think we should go for? Like what kind of look? Do you think we should use that purple that was like stunning? something more matte or something very golden. Mm. I think the obvious choice is the purple, the roller skates color, because I really liked it. So I'm gonna do that. But I'm gonna try this for a crease color. And if that doesn't work, I'll try this one, the rose tomato or rose tattoo. <laughs> it doesn't say tomato. So I'll try this one first. If it doesn't really show up, I'll try this one for my crease color. 
Yeah, and I think I said this when I was swatching them, but sometimes with the swatches, you actually can't tell how it's gonna show up on your eyes. You just kind of have to go for it on your face to see how it is. And honestly, I'm not using a lot of product. Like when I was swatching it, I feel like I had to really dig my finger in there to get some of this color to show up. But now it seems like it's working pretty well. Like you can totally see that there's a product in my crease. Like there's a color there. I wish we had something like a matte brown, even though matte browns are so standard, but they always just work well for any eye look, I think. But I'll go in with the rose tattoo color on my outer corner, my outer V, just to give this look a little bit more dimension so it's not just purple. Okay, can you see the difference between this eye and this eye? Now that we have this outer V color, Okay, I do like that color. I do like how warm it is. Before I go in with the purple, I think what I'm gonna do is take this smaller tapered blending brush and take the same rose tattoo color that we used in the outer V and go on my under eyelid. Honestly, with how warm these colors are, I feel like it would be pretty interesting to try this color on my lid just to keep it very warm and orangey, but we are going to try the purple because I am most excited about that. How do we feel? It's definitely electric, <laughs> but we're not done because I definitely will go back in with the rose tattoo color to smoke it out a little bit and make it not so vibrant, but let's just continue on. Okay, so far, <laughs> this is where we're at. I've got to say, I've never went with a color combo like this and it's definitely more concert Coachella vibes than I'm used to. The purple and red are interesting together to say the least. The next thing I'm going to use is this Ocean Avenue color and we're going to see about popping that in our inner corner and maybe even as a brow highlight. I don't really do a brow highlight typically but we might do it today. And now we are going to use the Surfer Curl Mascara. Okay, I just did one eye with that mascara and I will say that like I thought because of the way the bristles are, it did a lot of separating from my lashes. So I don't know if you can tell how close I have to get, but my lashes are definitely more separated. They're not as clumped together. And here's the other one. I don't think it's as impactful as the <laughs> box made it seem like it would be. And maybe that's because I don't curl my lashes. Who knows? But maybe what I'll do is try and apply a second coat. I usually don't apply multiple layers of mascara. I just don't, but I can try it for this. So yeah, I think in terms of what's different between this mascara and other mascaras I've used, it's just the separating aspect, but I can't say how it wears or anything else. Because that one eyeshadow color is called Ocean Avenue, I have that song stuck in my head. I was like singing in my mind. If we could leave this town and ride forever. And I was like, why? Why am I singing that song? And it's because of the name of the eyeshadow. Do any of you know that song? That's such a throwback. I applied a second coat. I'm not sure if you can tell. It's early morning and I am a mess right now. But I applied a second coat. I don't know if you can tell. I can hardly ever tell when I apply a second coat. I don't know if it's just a me issue or if it's the fact that mascara doesn't want to apply a second coat, but I did it. I did it. Okay, and that is the eye look completed. I like it. I don't think it's too bad. Okay, the next things we pretty much have are our lip products and that's pretty much the end of it. So just these two. So I will apply a little bit of the oil and I will not eat it this time. And let me just show you guys up close what this looks like taking out. Ain't that wild? Look at, focus camera, focus. Look at how, camera, camera focus. This wand is so big. So I'll apply a little bit. I don't really know what's the, what are the instructions for this? Also, I hate this wand. It's big, which is cool, but it makes me want to bite it because of the way it smells and it looks like it could be a candy. When I picked this product, I don't know what I was hoping it would do, but it's not doing anything that I feel like it should be doing. It's not plumping. Hydrating, maybe over time. And what was the last thing? I don't even know. Smooth? Maybe, I mean, it's oil. 
I just dabbed that off so it wouldn't be a lot of oil so then we can just put on our lip gloss and they didn't give us any like lipsticks and I could put one on but I'm not going to I'm just gonna use this and this wand is interesting this is the one with like the hole in the middle okay so my original hypothesis was correct that it is definitely iridescent and kind of shifting from like purple to green don't know if you can tell at all honestly it doesn't look like you'd be able to tell but in just my mirror i can see that it definitely has more purple and green so in a way it ties in the eye look together it probably would have been a little bit better if i applied lipstick and put this over it because right now i don't think it's the best look honestly <laughs> What do you guys think about these two Ipsys? What do you think about the fact that Ipsy now has a new structure with the Picking 3 products? Do you like that? Do you not like that? Do you not get Ipsy so you don't really care anyways? I am curious to know, but just to bring back our picture that we did today, this was it. And this, if you've seen the other videos in this series, is definitely a lot different than the style that I've drawn the other ones. And if you can see, her eye has some shine and even the apple earring that she has has some shine. I've the one thing that I will not not do in these series is add some shiny paint on top of something because I really love that I like the effect that it gives and yeah this was definitely this was also different paper and my washi tape did rip it at the edges I don't know if you can see but it like totally tore the paper up which I was surprised about but I think it actually adds to it I think it looks rustic I think it is a happy little mistake so Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please have a great day, have a great week, have a great life, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.